I truly enjoy hunting by myself. I always have. However, you sure can have a lot of laughs when hunting with some good friends. All right, today's episode of Brian Can't Shoot a Moose is being brought to you by uh, Kawasaki, the maker of the 800 T-Rex. <laughs> the host for the show will be Brian, I Can't Shoot a Moose, and his cousin, Randy, I think that's a stump. <laughs> More black fox than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, black fox, I see. Uh, uh. They usually move some black spots. All right. right. Well, usually got four spot. legs, eh? Right, but not when Randy is. It's hard to walk. It's the roots kind of job to move. Right? They're seized up in the winter. I think they freeze us. Now, what do you think, boys? Are we getting a moose today? Yeah. That is going to be our uh, I take the fun our vessel. The We've got about four bags to take out now, right? The main rig. Yeah. Shouldn't you be watching where you're going? Not really. When you've got a rig like this, you just point her in the right direction. It turns on your GPS, and then she just goes where she needs to go. We are proceeding with caution here after getting wooden stuck in a mud hole. For a while it appeared that we would be walking. But this wasn't our first time in a jam, and it definitely won't be our last. Brian was the first to spot the moose at 1.3 kilometers away while driving. To say the least, I was impressed. Brian and I decided to snowshoe from here to try and get close to the moose. We only snowshoed 1.3 kilometers, but we were sinking knee deep with each step and pushing through tuckamores in places as we closed the distance. We were on Willie Simon's trail and the moose was over on Jim Penny's mash. My great grandfather once had a cabin here, Joe Maxim was his name. And he had 26 children, 15 with his first wife, and 11 with his second. Yeah, we, we came up on a, a bull over there, and a cow and a calf came to join it. Well, on the way over, we seen the cow and the calf come out on the bog. The wind was in our back, so it wasn't good. But uh, by the time we got up on the other bog, the wind changed direction. And uh, then the snow kept us in, and the darkness started coming on us now. So uh, we're going to wait and come back tomorrow morning. We this is some of the stuff that we had to go through. You want to see where that that bike went today. <clears throat> but the bridge has gone out here, so we got to be careful coming down through here. You lose your balance here, you're getting wet. That slush to the right is about four feet deep. All right, it's coming there. we got a space shuttle coming. Salvation. we got an apprentice driver on her, see? He's in training. Yeah, 
runs all the way to hold into the bar. finished talking about all the drama there is on reality TV shows. Basically, making the folks that appear on them look like they are not prepared. They cannot make a move without causing some trumped up drama that any true woodsman would not get themselves into. So here we decide to poke a little fun at the ridiculous drama that ruins these shows for me. Uh oh, we, we uh, lost the trail. We don't know if we're going to make it home tonight or not. I'm going to check my stairs. <laughs> we don't know. But the trail is here somewhere. We just got to find it. It's like those reality TV shows. TV shows. We're not going to make it out of here, guys. Uh -oh. We're lost. Okay. And we're running out of gas. Uh -oh. My sense of direction says we need to go to the right. The road is over there. Go to the right, you think? I don't know, but look. There's a forest. Well, here, look. We made it out. No, we drove a rabbit out. Look. Jeez, a rabbit come right out of his home. Well, we made it. Oh. Oh. That is Mr. Brian. I can't shoot a moose. Right there. But he makes a good window cleaner. He did see the moose. He was actually the first one to see it. Yeah. 
I can't, I don't even believe I'm admitting it, but he was the first one to see the moose. I think I seen it just quick, I just didn't get it out fast enough. Well, that, that, I think that's what happened, eh? I think we all seen it at the same yeah. time, but he's, he's, his tongue is hung in the middle and wags on both ends. <laughs> he was quicker on the tongue than that. That's, that's, how, that's how we're going to explain this, Randy. I travel this on Skidoo. Cross country skis, no shoes. Paddle bike, motor bike, trike, quad, cargo, side by side, carriage jet, J5. It's all the most transportation I come up to through here with. Uh oh. Now we're getting into a snowstorm before you can get out. We might lose our way. He's already lost his way. <laughs> a long time ago. You see any moose? Yeah, there's one there. Where? Oh, that's good eating too, look. Huh? Get out and shoot that, Brian. Yeah. Get out and shoot that. It's still late there. I dirty laugh to shotgun. Slow it. See that Charlie White out there with that video camera? No, oh. no, I don't know who he is. He wasn't smart enough to catch me in a water hole. <laughs> Would you say the tracks are an improvement, Brian? Yes, sir. Okay, I got her full. You know, she's straight to the nozzle there. Right on. Huh? Well, what do we got there on the pump? Let's 1250 and it is uh, 139 or 137 a liter. There's nine liters. Two nine gallons. liters. Two gallons. There about, yeah, two gallons. 33 kilometer round trip. Right on the nose too, eh? Yeah. Why? Well, <laughs> Turn on the camera. Uh, the camera's going, okay. All right, shoot that again. What do you okay. say? We were supposed to be pulling out. The military guy said 1,400 hours, the bike is leaving. It's 1,420 now, and the military guy is just showing up. Well, wait a second now. Let's, let's actually see what the actual time is. It is... Um, not even. <laughs> I can't. I was, a, I was on the phone straightening out for my we got to get gas and everything yet. Yeah, uh, it's a little after two. I've been here for five minutes. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm ready. You guys ready? All right, we're ready. He's <laughs> off. I just he's <laughs> off. Boy. Well, he works three days a week. That's not true. I don't think he works any days a week. He gets paid for three days <laughs> he of work. Up three days. He trolls up three days. We had to get uh, backup for the moose. Brian and Randy go and check out a couple of fresh sets of moose tracks that we've seen. For those of you who don't understand what Brian is uh, trying to say there, he's saying that you and me are going to throw on the snowshoes, we're going to walk all over the side of this mountain, we're going to work like dogs, and we're going to be in the snow up over our knees with the snowshoes on. 
anytime you find good fresh moose sign in an area where they are feeding, it is well worth your time to sit and wait. Here Brian and his father are watching for moose. Unfortunately, I wasn't with Brian when he got his moose, but his son Josh was, and the two of them had a fantastic hunt. As always, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please subscribe.